dear learners welcome to the nios today we are going for the third part of properties of fluids and learning that what is buoyancy and archimedes principle here we will be able to understand that what is actually a buoyancy and about the archimedes principle first we are representing this demonstration where an object is gently placed on the surface of the water and as you can see it is moving downwards what is just happening right now the object is sinking to the bottom of the glass why does it happen does the liquid which is at rest had done something or every object sink or does it flow now we are questioning each and everything by using the concept of buoyancy the property of fluids which imply the buoyant force is known as buoyancy now what is this buoyant force this is a upward force which act on an object when submerged in a fluid now through this diagram we can see that the very first green sphere is given as float where we can see that the gravitational force which is acting downwards on the surface of water is counterbalanced by the buoyant force which is implied by the liquid in the upward direction and if an object sink there the gravitational force is having larger amount than that of a buoyant force now the buoyant force act on an object depend on only two factors the volume of the body which is immersed and the density of the fluid for making this more clear we are using a demonstration here you can see a glass of water is filled till a certain level in which we had already put two objects at the lower bottom it is the bob definitely the density of this bob is higher than the density of the fluid and the volume of this object is greater than the volume of water which is displaced on the second term you can see a sponge is floating on the surface of the liquid now you can see here the density as well as the amount of volume of water which is displaced by this sponge is very low that is why one object is at the bottom which is sinked completely and the other object is at the top which is floating on the surface now through the slides we can see that what we observed are the number of objects floating on the surface of water there are many surfaces of water over which the substances float how does they float how to identify the forces which are acting on the surface of that particular object the gravitational force which pulls it downwards the buoyant force which acts upwards so the both the forces are implied on the same object which is on the surface of water and they balance each other in equilibrium state and then we can say that yes the object is floating on the water here the main emphasis is implied that an equilibrium state should be there then only the object will float on water as you can see that from this diagram here we are having a merchant ship which is loaded with many goods and you can see if the goods are there they are having the masses and the gravity pull every object which is placed on the surface of water downwards in the similar position the buoyancy the up thrust which is implied by the liquid is in equilibrium position with that of a force which is implied by the gravity they both are in equilibrium but opposite to each other therefore this ship is not sinking on the other hand it is floating a totally submerged object denser than the fluid sinks next archimedes principle the archimedes principle states that when an object is submerged partially or completely in a fluid 
then the magnitude of the buoyant force in it always equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. Now this principle can easily be demonstrated by using an Eureka cane. What is actually a Eureka cane? Now look up with this diagram. This diagram shows that we are having a can which is filled with water and at the side we are having an outcome through a nozzle. So if it's submerged object, the heavier the weight, if the more the displacement is there of water, the more the amount of water comes out of the vessel. Now how does it happen? So we can demonstrate by using this particular beaker and for the convenience we already take a jar where we already place a certain amount of water which is leveled by this mark. The first object that we are going to insert inside it is the bob. As we already know, this bob is having higher volume as compared to this water, means the density is higher comparatively. So when I make this bob dipped inside the jar, will the level rise? So let us observe. Now let me leave this bob inside the jar which is filled with water and see a certain amount rises, a very small amount. To show that is it a specific amount so that we can easily differentiate, I will insert one more bob inside and it will definitely displace a larger amount of water. To show it more clearly, let me mark it for you people. The original level of the water which was taken by us was marked by the black ink. But when we inserted two bobs, two heavy bobs inside it, the amount of water displaced turns in the rise in the level of the water which is marked by the blue ink. Now, where do we use this principle? It is used inside the ships, the submarines. It is used in making lactometers which are used to determine the purity of sample of milk. And they are used in making hydrometers which are used to determine the density of liquids. The hydrometers also used to show that the household using water, is it hard or is it soft? Now what we had learned, we learned that the concept of buoyancy where does it imply? How does the body floats? We learn Archimedes principle. Thank you.